In this episode, we're going to take a look at the My Mic connector, which is a little adapter that allows you to use your 3.5 millimeter input mics on your iPhone or other smartphone. So in this case, this could be mics like the Giant Squid Audio Labs Lav Mic or the HMN Sound Lavalier Mic. Check this out. Now, if you've watched some of our previous episodes, you know we've looked at a number of microphones, uh, lavalier microphones in particular, for use with video to improve the sound for your video. And the three main items that we've looked at, three main mics we've looked at are the Audio-Technica ATR3350, which is a mic with a very long cable, which you can hook directly into your camera. And if you need the cheapest option that will drastically improve the sound over your camera's in-camera in, uh, in mic, that's probably a good choice for you. We also have looked at the Giant Squid Audio Labs lav mic and the HMN Sound lavalier mic. Now those latter two are probably better suited for recording into an audio recorder like a Zoom H1 or a Tascam DR05. However, a lot of people have asked, hey, can I record the, with these into my smartphone? And the answer, unfortunately, by themselves is no, you can't. But there is this new device, again, called the MyMic connector, which is just this little cable here, and we'll look at it in a little more detail in just a second, which takes your microphone input. In this case, I'm mean using the Giant Squid Audio Labs Love Mic. It has a t what's called a tip ring shield connector. It's a 3.5 millimeter connector, and it has two of those black rings on it. And uh, what this does, this little My Mic connector, is it takes that and it adapts it to a three ring connector, which is called a tip ring ring shield, also 3.5 millimeter. And this will work into your smart, into most smartphones. Um, here, for example, I'm using an iPhone i uh, iPhone 5S, <laughs> um, but it will probably work just as well into other smartphones, any Android uh, smartphones that have a 3.5 millimeter input, which is almost all of them. The question is, is how well does it work? And uh, in doing some testing, um, what I'm finding is that it works pretty nicely for microphones that have a pretty good output level, pretty strong output level. And of those two that I've talked, oh, well, let me take a step back. First of all, the Audio Technica ATR3350 will not work using this adapter, the My Mic connector. Um, I tried it, did not work. I tried the Audio Technica ATR3350 straight into a Zoom H1 just to make sure everything was working, and that recorded okay. So if you have an Audio Technica ATR3350, it will not work with this adapter. So you've been warned. <laughs> um, but for the Giant Squid and the HMN Sound, um, this does work. And in doing some testing here, what I found is that the Giant Squid seems to have enough output level to make it kind of a worthwhile, to make it work pretty well. The HMN Sound, the, the output level isn't quite where it needs to be. So this is probably not an awesome solution for that setup. So if you do have an HMN Sound, um, this is probably not a great uh, solution for you. You're probably better off just investing in something like a Zoom H1 or a Tascam D05. Uh, recorder. But if you wanted to save a little money with the Giant Squid, you can use this. My sense is that the audio quality is not quite as good. The preamp in most smartphones is not quite as good as a Zoom H1 will have, um, but it is $80 US less expensive. So if you're on a tight budget and you want to up the quality of your audio, you're interested in getting one of these mics like the Giant Squid, I think a Giant Squid and this My Mic Connector is a great combination. The HMN Sound, let's see what happens in the next generation. They're, they're working on reformulating that mic a little bit, and that one may end up working better, and we'll come back to that at some point in the future when they do release that new version. Um, but this one, again, if you want to record directly into your, your smartphone with the My Mic Connector, I think the Giant Squid is a great choice. Let's take a closer look. All right, and then just for comparison's sake, here we have the Giant Squid Audio Labs Lav Mic going into the Zoom H1. Now, all of the other recording we've done so far in this episode has been the Giant Squid into the My Mic connector into iPhone 5S. So this is just a sense, to, uh, just to give you a sense of the difference in the sound quality when you're recording into uh, a dedicated audio recorder. I still recommend this as the best option if, in terms of getting the best audio quality. Um, but again, if, if you've got a tight budget, and I completely understand, um, we don't all have endless budgets for our hobbies, um, but if, if you don't have the budget, I think the My Mic is a pretty good solution, again, for the Giant Squid. Not as good for lower output mics, does not work for the Audio-Technica ATR3350, um, not as awesome for the HMN Sound yet. Again, if they're reformulating, we'll see how the new version of that mic comes out, um, but for right now, 
the giant squid seems to work pretty much a treat. Definitely into the Zoom H1. It sounds a little bit different, um, as you can tell from this comparison. And here's one last test. This is with the HMN Sound lavalier mic. And uh, this one doesn't seem to... It sounds a little bit different. So I found that this one was nicer on the Zoom H1 where I could push the microphone preamp a little bit harder without introducing as much noise. Here I've got the input gain set to almost to the top. Let's set it just a little higher there. So that's almost, uh, that's just a little notch below its maximum input level. So when you start pushing preamps that hard, a lot of times the sound is not as awesome, but here's a sample of what the HMN Sound lovelier mic sounds like using the My Mic connector um, into an iPhone 5S. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about this particular connector, go ahead and leave them down below and we'll make sure we get back to you with some answers. Um, also, if any of you get it and test it with a, an Android phone, just uh, check in with us and, may, and just tell us which phone you have and which one it worked with, just so everyone's aware. You can also go to the My Mic site and uh, you can get some details there on which phones you can expect it to work with. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. We'll make sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk with you soon. Thank you.